Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be talking about a fatherless generation and the state of men in this era. I'm mainly making this because two different subjects have kind of entered my atmosphere in the last few days. In this video there's there's like two or three guys. There's two that I can remember. I think there might be three. I can't remember now. But there's, there's two that I can remember top of my head. <laughs> and one of the guys is literally like this, okay? He's bowing down to the camera. And this girl has messaged him and said, call me goddess or something, say you own me goddess. And he's literally bowing down to the camera, <laughs> wearing a diaper, okay, a child's diaper. And he's literally saying, you own me goddess. But not just like I said it just then, which sounds slightly masculine. He's saying it in like the softest, scaredest voice you've ever heard, like, you own me goddess, like that sort of shit. And I just think, what the fuck is going on, Okay. And I'm like, who is this guy? And she's like, oh, it's this guy. He's like a big CEO of a big company. The state of men, the, what situation we've got to. We've got CEOs of big companies who, you know, they're dominating all day. So they like to be dominated when they get home and stuff like that. And he's in a child's fucking like diaper. Some weird shit. Some really weird shit. And I'm just sat there looking at it, just, feel, just feeling sad and sick at the same time. It's just, I can't believe it's got to this state, man. And I'll break the whole video down in a minute, you know, why I'm making this and the fatherless generation, etc. But the second, the second one, it's quite a young guy. He looked like he was in his late 30s or something. And she's told him to stand in the corner because he's being a naughty boy, all right? <laughs> I, can't, I cannot keep a straight face with half of this shit. If I saw these guys, I'd just fucking, you know, I'd just tell them straight to their face to grow the fuck up and stop being cunts. But this guy is stood in the corner. He's like right in the corner as well. And he's got his head bowed down like that. And he won't move for like a minute. He's just been told to stay there and he's got his head down and he just, I don't know, he's just doing as he's told, basically. And the, the, right, that on its own is bad enough, but these guys pay this girl like 10 grand a month, like five, 10 grand a month in order to be treated like this. I don't know why. I couldn't explain why it, that doesn't enter my fucking brain or anything. There's not, there's not a fucking morsel inside my body that would act that way. I, I, I have no idea what's going on in terms of what those guys are doing. But one thing I do know is that this is definitely stemmed from having a fatherless generation. And I don't mean just not having a dad. I mean the kind of the father figure that used to exist, okay? The, the way that a dad used to discipline the son and tell them to do this and tell them to do that. You have to go out to work, you know? Go and do a tough job. It's cold, I don't give a fuck, you walk, you know? That kind of mindset that we used to have growing up We've changed that with the PC world. I quite like the PC world, okay? I quite like it. I, I like the fact that dads can sit with their dads, tell them that they that they love them, give them a big hug, help them with their you know their schoolwork, whatever. All this stuff is it's beautiful. It's a, it's a nice way to live, but it's not doing us any favors. And this is the problem. This is the trade off. It's like, yeah, we should all be more caring. Yeah, we should be nicer to each other. Yeah, we should have. So, yeah, we should have like certain things that we don't do anymore. Okay. But by fatherless generation, I mean father figure. So you might have you might have a father, you might have a dad, but that father, that dad is soft as shit. You know, they're, they're not, they're an excuse for a man. They're, ju they're just pathetic themselves. They get bullied in their life from day to day by the wife, you know, women around them that they worship like goddesses. <laughs> that shit. Stand in the corner. They get bullied at their workplace. They're like the fucking T-boy and they're 50, 60 years old. You know, when they should be the fucking boss making all the money at that point. They're raising you, okay? That's your role model. That's your father figure. Of course you're not going to turn out great, are you? Do you know what I mean, right? The second story I have, I was talking to my mum the other day and she was saying that there's a woman at her work whose son wears shoes that are a size too small. She was like, this is the, this is the fashion now. This is what guys do. She was saying, oh, did your son have that when he was at school? My mum was like, fuck no, like, why would you ever do that? And this kid and all of his friends and everybody in the area, I don't know if this is worldwide, universal, whatever, but they wear shoes that are a size too small because big feet aren't attractive. You know, like having big clam feet and slapping around doesn't match your outfit, doesn't match your aesthetics. I'm sorry, guys, but when I was growing up, the bigger your feet were, the better it was. Oh, that guy's got a huge dick. That guy's the biggest guy. What size are your feet? Oh, damn, you're bigger than me. It was like a, it was like a fucking trophy. 
You know, if somebody said to you, I've got size 14 feet, everyone's like, whoa, this guy, you know, this guy's hung like a horse. This guy's massive. It was, you know, that saying, oh, you know what they say about big feet, you know, that sort of thing. That was promoted all the time. And now guys are going around, little boys, I want to say, are going around with shoes that are a size too small. I mean, number one, what's that going to do to your toes and your feet? It's going to curl them up. It's, number two, it's uncomfortable. I can just picture all these kids waddling around like fucking T-Rexes because they can't walk properly. It's like a high heel effect, the way your shoe's going to crunch up or your foot's going to crunch up like that. I, <laughs> this is the state we got to now. Guys who are worshipping women, you know, hiding in the fucking corner because they've been told to, and paying a woman to do that for them. Like the OnlyFans thing. When I said before, anybody who uses OnlyFans is a cunt, a massive cunt, and you deserve a slap around the face because you're a pussy, and you need to sort your fucking life out and actually work for shit and stop being, you know, an incel and feeling sorry for yourself. Actually go out into the world and have some fucking passion. This is why First Man does so well. It's why people relate to me so well, because I am feeding you an upbringing that came from real men, you know, and I'm giving this to you and I'm like your actual father figure or your older brother, that masculine influence. And I'm telling you, it's okay. The one that you've never had, you know, I'm pushing that out there. This is why this channel has grown so much because people are going, wow, I've all my life, I've been taught to tiptoe around and be very nice to people. And I'm saying, actually, there's another side and it gets you whatever the fuck you want in life. And that's what a man should be. You know, you look at guys like Pop Smoke, okay? That masculine energy, the way he was working so hard, he was outspoken, he was... The aggression in his songs, you know, his build and stuff like that, and the passion that he had. The women were drawn to him. Women literally just piled on top of the Pop Smoke kind of vibe. And it's still to this day that he's dead, you know, women are still like, oh, he was my dream man, he's perfect, he's like the second coming of Tupac. Because it's a masculine influence, you know, the way that he used to, the same with Tupac, the way they used to exude that masculinity and not hide it and say, oh, you know, I'm going to offend somebody. They just said and did what they wanted to. They were real men. They were masculine. They weren't afraid to hide that. They pushed it out there. They openly put that on display every single day. And it really worked. It worked for success. It worked for life. It worked for women. And yet, you know, and guys are drawn to these guys because they want to be like them, but they just don't have that passion inside of them because of the way that they were brought up, you know, their upbringing, etc. It just wasn't right. And it stems from this fatherless generation. Wearing shoes that are one size too small so that your feet don't look too big, so that your outfit's on point, you know, and your drip looks good, so that women find you attractive. Stupidest fucking thing in the world. Stupidest thing in the world. I wear big fuck-off boots for multiple reasons. I like the way I stomp around in them. I like the way they look. I like the way they pad my feet out. I have big legs. It just makes everything look stocky. It's a good base. Whereas now it's like, oh, I want shoes that are a size too small because women are going to think I'm weird or other people are going to say, oh, look at your big feet. That's terrible. How has that changed? How is this now a negative? How is it now normal to stand in a corner and get told what to do by your goddess and you're paying her 10 grand a month? How is nobody like... If I, found, if I found out one of my friends was doing that, I would fight them. I would fight them. I would grab them and I'd smack them around for a while and I'd say, you need to grow the fuck up. You know, I'd, 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 just, I'd, I'd just do something to just, no, you know, they, they're in a fucking trance, surely. I'd give them a slap around the face or I'd tell them what they're doing wrong. I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with Think you? About it. We got these guys that are standing in the corner, these guys that are wearing smaller shoes. They're going to be raising the next generation of kids. Like the people at the top, that's what they want. That's what they want, man. They want you to be fucking scared and lacking confidence and unhealthy and, you know, not masculine. Like, if you ever look into Kellogg's, that's the entire purpose. I don't want to turn this into a conspiracy video, but the entire purpose of Kellogg's cereal was created by a guy to lower testosterone's, uh, testosterone level to make men more submissive. That was like, if you look into it, that was the entire purpose. You know, and we kind of live our lives on this basis now, like the foods that we eat, the way that we act. The way that we live our days, you know, just sat in a chair, just at a desk all day, just at a computer. Do you want to go for a pint? There's no way to live. We're just like docile fucking cows. We need to turn back into bulls, you know, raging bulls. We need to wake up in the morning, smash the gym out, go and do something masculine. Oh, it's cold. I better go and put my gloves on. Just go outside. Just go outside. Just toughen your fucking hands up. You know, sign up to a boxing class. Go and just do masculine shit. Just get your fucking fire and passion back. And as much as people be like, what is this guy talking about? How is that going to help me? You will not believe when you start exuding that masculine energy, you start having passion, you start gritting your teeth and fists and you say, I'm going to get on with shit. 
I don't care what comes at me. I'm a man. I'm going to deal with it in a masculine manner. You start making headway. Your testosterone goes up. You have more energy, more motivation. You're less depressed. Like all of this stuff in this modern era where we're all depressed. We're all sad. Lockdown's got me down. This is going wrong. Girls don't like me. I'm short. I'm bold. Like all this shit. Who gives a fuck? Honestly, who gives a fuck? Just crack on with things. If you get your testosterone up, I am telling you, all of that just goes, it just dissipates. It just fades away. You start doing more masculine masculine shit. You get up early. You go out into the world. You go and chase after what you want. You, your testosterone's high, you know? You don't give a fuck. You don't take shit from anybody. All of that stuff just, just dissolves. It's very easy to do.